Hey guys, this is John. Round four of the St. Louis Norm Congress is complete. I got some good sleep last night. I was feeling refreshed, ready to go this morning. And I had the white pieces against Grandmaster Mark Paragua. As usual, I'll just give my brief thoughts on the game. The game is in the description if you want to play through it. So I didn't get much out of the opening. It was a Bishop G5 Grunfeld. I felt I was better, but after the Queens come off the board, I was not able to prove it. There was this moment when he took my pawn on c4, and I spent way too long thinking about how to reply. Bishop takes c4 is the move I play in a blitz game, and it's probably best, but after bishop a6, I couldn't figure out a path to an advantage, because if the bishops come off the board, the knight comes to a6 for black, and he controls that vital c7 square. So, I mean, even there, I might have a bit of a pull, but spending 20 minutes on that one move was not good. So I ended up playing knight f3 and then knight to e5, I won the pawn back that I was down, but just didn't get a whole lot. It was virtually dead equal. In fact, he could have forced a repetition at one point if he wanted, but I got the sense that he was pushing for the win. And I was behind on the clock for most of the middle game, but I think that worked to my advantage, funnily enough, because he also was looking for something that just wasn't there. I think the position was just level, and he should have played the position accordingly. But he got over ambitious. He doubled his rooks on the d-file and then played this move e5 as we were both getting into time pressure. And I just seized that opportunity. I played rook takes d5, rook takes d5, e4. And then all of a sudden, this majority that I have in the center becomes extremely mobile. And I get to plant a pawn on d5. It's a protected pass pawn. And the move that really did him in was when I played f4 just a couple of moves later, which forces him to capture. And then I take on f6. I had these D and E pawns in the center of the board. He had a weak B pawn. The position's just unholdable for black. And we were both in time pressure, but uh, it's, it's too easy for white. So I won. I got the victory. Very happy about that, especially since the opening wasn't looking like anything special. Always nice when you uh, get to outplay your opponent or your opponent even gives you a little bit of a gift because, again, like I said, I think he was pushing too hard for the win. So now I'm on plus one, two and a half out of four. And the normal requirement is six and a half, like I said, so I still need to win games. In one hour, I'm playing Grandmaster Denis Boros. He's a Hungarian Grandmaster. I have the black pieces. A win would be huge, so I'm going to be ambitious. Draw doesn't kill me either, but let's see what I can do in this round. Um, this was a bloody round at the tournament. There were five decisive games. All five games were won by the player playing white. Uh, my opponent from yesterday won again, Solokaidu. She beat Boros in a back-and-forth attacking game, it seems. Uh, Tatev Abrahamian is doing well. She's on plus one, despite being the lowest-rated player in the field. Um, Advait Patel won. He's another norm seeker. Kamrakulov won. So lots of players on plus one looking for a norm, looking to make a move in these remaining rounds. And hopefully it'll be me. So thanks, guys. I'll do another update tonight. And let's hope for a good game. All right, bye.